Meet Dick and Liz Uline. They spell it like this, but they spell their company name like this. Uline. It sounds familiar, right? You've probably used their boxes. The Wisconsin-based company has grown to be much more than boxes. It's a packaging supply giant with over 6,000 employees. The family comes across as unassuming in these corporate videos, but when it comes to politics, they are anything but. The Mercers, the Koch brothers, and Sheldon Adelson already have the name recognition, but the U-Lines may be the biggest Republican donors you've never heard of. They're pouring their massive wealth into super PACs backing insurgent right-wing candidates, already spending roughly $26 million on federal elections this cycle. Chris McDaniel. Candidates backed by Uline generally support the Trump agenda, sometimes veering even further to the right. A proven conservative fighting for Mississippi values. Chris Earlier this year, Mr. Uline gave $2.5 million to Jeannie Ives for governor in their home state of Illinois. She ran this ad against incumbent Bruce Rauner in the primary. Thank you for signing legislation that lets me use the girls' bathroom. The ad was criticized as transphobic. That's exactly what typically a transgender man looks like. I mean, Ives lost. Roy Moore, leadership we can trust. Mr. Uline also gave over half a million dollars to super PAC supporting Roy Moore in Alabama. Moore's campaign was compromised when several women accused him of sexually assaulting them as teens. I trusted Mr. Moore because he was the district attorney. A Democrat ended up winning that Senate race. Mr. Uline contributed half a million dollars to a super PAC behind Patrick Morrissey. He turned the Drain the Swamp rallying cry into something resembling a terrorist threat in this campaign ad. Let's not just change Washington, let's blow it up and reinvent it. That's better. Morrissey won the Republican primary in West Virginia after President Trump disparaged his controversial opponent. Mr. President, if you're watching right now, let me tell you, your tweet was huge. Sometimes the Uline support outsider candidates who wouldn't stand a chance without the money. Wisconsin voters hadn't heard of Kevin Nicholson, a political newcomer trying to unseat Democrat Tammy Baldwin, the first openly gay senator. Then, Mr. Uline donated over $7 million to super PAC supporting Nicholson. The Republican Party has endorsed a different candidate in that race, but polls suggest that Nicholson is now a strong contender. The Uline spend the most in their home states of Illinois and Wisconsin, but they fund candidates across the country. These mega donations are helping to shape the 2018 elections while pushing the Republican Party further to the right.